So if you confront it with a shot like this, and as you can see, it's a very straightforward chip shot where you just got to run it along the ground to the pin. Now make sure you always give yourself options. Don't just grab a club, because a lot of people playing carts these days, they just grab a club and come over. Give yourself a couple of options. I took a quick look at this and thought, this is probably a wedge or a nine iron. So for me, I think I want to lob it two or three meters on the green, a little bit of a false front. So I've bought wedge and nines, I'm gonna go with a wedge, okay? So with this shot here, you don't need to lob it up. You just wanna get it on the ground rolling towards the pin. So the key to this shot is to create an angle. You wanna create an angle where your hands are in front of the ball. Now I'm not a big advocate for this. I don't like this. I like just get your regular shot you do from off the fairway. Just walk forward so your hands are in the same spot. You create the angle by just moving the ball back in your stance. And from there, it's just a putting action, rolling it towards the pin. So I take my normal stance like an iron shot off the fairway. I just walk forward, and the ball's back in my stance. Keep your weight on your front foot, just treat it like a putt. Roll up towards the hole. As you can see, very little can go wrong because there's no wrist action. You're just creating an angle with the ball moving back in your stance, and then just hitting a putt. And like I always say with chips and pitch shots, brush the grass. I always think about brushing the grass. By brushing the grass, you get the ball more out of the middle. And getting the ball more out of the middle, you judge distance far better than miss hitting the shot.